Yo what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on dynamic web application development using asp.net with c sharp programming and ms sql that is microsoft sql server as the backend database and if you followed this course so far we've come pretty far enough in fact last few tutorials left in this entire course after which we will completely develop our e library management system which we've been developing over this entire course If you've missed any of the tutorial I'll drop the link in the video description of this entire playlist you can also see a card on the top right corner and as the title of the video suggest in this tutorial we're quickly going to develop the view books module so right now if you see this is our website I've not logged in and you know I've not even logged in as a regular user or a admin but if I click on view books right now I'm getting a blank page this is something that got left out I should have developed this way before And if you see the demo website, let me just show it to you. So this is the view books of our demo website, and this is how the user interface should look like. Now, if you followed the previous couple of videos in this course, we developed this similar user interface. This is actually a grid view. It is a custom grid view which is developed using templates as well as the Bootstrap styling. That is the Bootstrap column, row, and container hierarchy. So we use that, and I'll drop the link in the video description for the previous tutorial because that is an absolute must. because essentially what we are going to do is we are going to just copy paste it copy paste that code into this page so i'm assuming you guys have already seen it if not just watch that because this is a very short video you can see from the timeline also so with that being said let's get started if you're new to my channel my name is tanmay sakpal and i do a lot of computer science and information technology video tutorials like computer programming development technology talks and a lot more on this channel so if that's something you're interested into then definitely subscribe and turn on the notifications to get the latest updates and never miss out on such important topics okay so as you can see we have a blank page this is a view books page and this view books module is for everyone so you don't have to register as a user So let's say for example you this library is in your locality and you have haven't yet registered but you see that this library has their website this is that website and you are just like okay let's see what this website is we just want to check out which books this library has so in that case you don't have to actually register as a user right so this view books module is open for everyone even a regular admin can see all the books even a member can see all the books even a non member can see all the books So that's why we do not need any registration or any sign up before this link gets enabled and that's the whole idea. So what we can do is let's first log in as admin. We've already done the login parts in the previous tutorials. So when I log in and in the previous tutorial we did the book inventory module. So if I click on it, this is that entire user interface that we want exactly in the view books also, right? So let's go to the coding part. So going to the coding part currently on the view books you can see we have drag and drop a grid view but it is not visible over here because we are not populating it with any data so that's why it is not visible but just go to the book inventory that we've already designed and you can see this is that entire designing part if you go into the designing aspect if you scroll down this is the entire grid view this is the sql data source this is the book inventory list so we basically want this complete module in fact this complete division so what i'll do is i'll just minimize this i'll just copy this entire module i'll come to the view books in the source in this hierarchy let's actually go to the admin book inventory let me just expand this okay so we'll just take the card view so if i just collapse this we'll just take this entire card view so it will have the entire sql data source it will have the entire grid view also come over here and inside of this this is where the grid view is right so we'll just erase this out we'll erase this entire column also and we'll just paste this entire code over here okay so let's save this and let's refresh and let's see if things work okay so as you can see by default things are pretty much working fine you know so if i just go to admin login and the reason why we are logging out over and over again is because we are refreshing the code so the session variable gets erased if i log in and if i go to the book inventory part this is the inventory module we are getting a search enabled entire grid view it is a custom grid view with templates which we've designed in when we were doing this module but now if i go to the view books we have pretty much got the entire user interface similar to it the only difference is it is not search enabled and remember for search enabled feature for making this grid view a very enhanced grid view we are using the data tables library so we need to initialize or call that function that's a jquery function so coming to the code again 
if you go to the admin book inventory if you scroll to the top so we need this script as it is and we'll come to the view books we'll again scroll to the top inside this content tag over here we'll paste this we don't need this function which is it is for displaying the image on the image view we don't have an image view over here we only need to call this data tables function i've already talked about this in detail many times in throughout this tutorial so i'm assuming you already know about it now if i refresh the code there you go our search enabled book inventory list is showing up perfectly fine and this is getting repetitive we don't need this part we've already given it a title so i can erase this out coming to the code so in this row you can see this entire row can be erased out we don't need a horizontal rule also save this and refresh all right so things are working perfectly fine as i mentioned this entire view is open for everyone so now you know a random user who knows that there exists this library and this library as a website can come to this website just to check out which books the library has and now you can see i can see in the library that this book is there in the library with the actual stock of 30 and available stock of 30 so now i can go to that library and tell them you know what i want one copy of this book so i'll just register so that uh, person will first register if i log out now from the website also now if i go to the view books there you go any random user can come over here when he goes to the library the librarian can tell that person that you got a first sign up so that person can sign up and then again go back to the library and get that particular book so yeah this was the book inventory module i know i just copy pasted the code and that is because we've already done the explanation part and if you still are a little confused do watch that part where we design this entire thing and i'll drop the link in the video description so this one module was left so hence this small video but i'm gonna wrap it up over here in the next tutorial what we will do is we will do the last admin module which is when i log in this is the last module which is book issuing so this one is left we are only left now with the book issuing module wherein a member will come to the library with a request for a particular book the librarian will check that book the librarian will enter the id and book id he or she will click on go and the member and book name will come over here and then the librarian will initiate the start date and end date and issue the book okay so this book issuing is where a member will come to the library and get a particular book get issued a particular book with the particular start date and end date so end date would be the due date so this is something that we will do in the next tutorial if you are new on this channel if you like this video definitely subscribe turn on the notifications for more technology oriented videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace